Okay, today we're gonna to perform a circuit resistance check on a fuel pump found on this 2001 Chevrolet truck. So what we can do is go to the Underhood Power Distribution Center and remove the fuel pump relay and install the appropriate socket adapter. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the LED test light here and we have a red light. That red light tells us that pin 30 is battery power and the load is on 87, the green socket. So we can prove that out. We can turn that off. We're gonna take our test lead here. We're, we've got voltage selected. My negative uh, connection is right on the battery negative post, and we're gonna go to B plus, okay? And if we go to 87, you can see we've got nothing there, all right? So we're gonna Put this on 87, and we're going to go do a resistance check, all right? Now, the first thing you should do is zero out your test leads, because you've got a known resistance in your test leads, and we need to factor for that. So we're going to go to the ohmmeter mode, okay? I'm going to basically back probe into this test lead here for my negative terminal, okay? And we have 0.2 ohms. I'm going to put the relative delta here. So now we're zeroed out. Okay. And now all I need to do, make sure that my switch, my rocker here is in the neutral position. We're not running any current through this LED test light. So that is off. And we're going to go to this circuit. And we have a half an ohm. A half of ohm resistance. So we would need to know what our spec is. Uh, on, a, on a known good, and I can tell you this car actually has a fairly new fuel pump uh, in it. Now, one thing, if you have an intermittent problem, you may want to load this, this uh, circuit up and actually warm it up. So what you could do is quickly just turn this on. I can hear the fuel pump running. If you wanted to verify you had power on that fuel pump circuit, we can go to 87. You can see we're running 12 volts to it. We could run this for a period of time or let the vehicle go out in service and then come back and then recheck that resistance value to see if we had um, a discrepancy. Now, if you did have high resistance in this circuit, we'll go back here. You can see now we're at 0.7. Well, why is that? Because we haven't made up for our resistance in our test lead. So we'll go back. To, to negative, so we're zeroed out here. We're gonna hit our relative, and then we're gonna go back and make a measurement. Now, it is extremely important that we understand that we are testing the circuit resistance from the 87 terminal in the relay socket out of the power distribution block to the pump motor, to the motor ground, and then to our meter ground connection at the negative battery terminal. So that is a complete circuit check. Now, if you find that you have high resistance in this circuit, you're gonna to wanna to walk the full circuit path, checking all of the connections, and then you'll be on your way to success. You activate the ultimate relay circuit test system.